dynamic environment, when you're in a dynamic environment, change is going to happen. I've not been one to either accept or dismiss wholesale all of the changes. I think you have to look at each with intent and then take a position. So, for example, uh, probably last year when we were here, we were talking a lot about summer camps and the uh, unregulated environment that existed around football summer camps. So clearly, from my perspective, uh, the change in there, the timing and the circumstances of those camps is something I see as positive. That came from the Football Oversight Committee. Um, the, the dead periods that we identified, uh, I generally think are positive. Um, I, I'm hopeful that there'll be a continuing review of those dead periods, both length and timing. One of the best examples that, that I think justify those dead periods is there's been a two-week late June, early July dead period in football, and when you talk to coaches, they have um, embraced that because if they're away catching their breath, they're not worrying about who's visiting campus because they're not able, the prospects aren't able to visit. And so those dead periods allow the coaches to focus on their teams um, rather than on recruiting or maybe on them, themselves, I think, are good. When I when we get into things like the early visit opportunity, that's a concern for me. Um, not that I, I'm, I'm just a, a person who says you can never have early official visits. I think those will come in other sports as well. Um, as you look at the normal college evaluation process, college visit process, those happen, but we didn't really adjust in, in what I view as an effective way. Um, so take our football student athlete leadership council in February and they met. They said, why would you bring people to campus when it's not a regular academic term? Why would you have visits in June? Um, these visits should be anchored during a regular academic year. We propose an amendment to just make them uh, in April because everyone's essentially in class in April, March would have been a positive addition, but the idea of bringing young people to visit a campus when you're not having regular campus life is not a direct